Hey, it's John at the Grape and Granary, and today I'm going to do a little demo on how to use an Italian hand corker. Uh, we have a lot of questions about exactly how these work. We have a lot of people, a lot of misconceptions about how they work, so that's why we're going to do our demonstration. Here's a, a bottle of wine we have that's ready to go. We've got a cork here, and one of the most common problems that we see is people think that we put the cork on top of the bottle and the cork goes on top, and no, it doesn't go that way. We want to put the cork inside the corking machine here, line it up in the center of this taper chamber, and that's how this corking device works. So what we'll go ahead and do then, is we're going to place the corking device on top of the bottle, and we're going to make sure that the center piston lines up with the center of the cork. As you can see, we need a little bit of adjustment. I've taken these corks and I've soaked them in a little bit of water just to lubricate them, not to soften them because they're already fairly soft. This is a 9 by one and a half inch micro part cork. This is a cork we highly recommend with this particular cork. It doesn't deform, it goes in smoothly, we've got very little problems. So again, I would really stick with the micro part cork. So now what we want to do is go ahead and slowly push down on the arms, lining it up at the center of the cork, and just very smoothly push all the way through. And the cork will sit right down in the bottle, and you should notice that we have a very nice seated cork there without a big indentation and it's fairly flush with the top of the bottle. Um, what you can also see is on this particular corker, we have a little adjustment nut right here. This will actually adjust how deep the cork goes into the bottle. So if you find that it's going too deep or not deep enough, you can adjust that right here. So let's go ahead and bring Marquita out here and we'll let her uh, a cork the bottle and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so Marquita's gonna go ahead and uh, cork the bottle now and we'll show you how it, how it works. Uh, one more trick. You want to always make sure you have a little bit of leverage, so I would try to find a tabletop that's a little lower than normal. That allows you to really get on top of the bottle and push that cork down into the bottle. Provided you have the leverage and you wet the cork a little bit first, you really shouldn't have any trouble uh, using this particular cork. If you have any problems or any questions, don't hesitate. Give us a call. We're always here to answer your questions, and thanks for watching.